Hey guys, this is Layton with Quality Pro Reviews and I'm going to be picking up where I left off in my last video where I unboxed the Mediasonic 2-Bay hard drive enclosure and the Seagate Ironwolf 4TB NAS hard drive. So, because I needed to edit that video, I had to install it, so I didn't do it on camera. But, as I told you in the last video, the 8TB hard drive was on its way. In the end, I want to have up to 12 terabytes of storage, so I'm going to be installing the 8TB for you on camera. So here it is in all its glory, the Seagate Ironwolf 8TB NAS hard drive. Hopefully there isn't too much glare so you can see it clearly, but this thing is beautiful. So I'm just going to whip out the old trusty knife and let's unbox this thing. And here it is. Wow! The Seagate Ironwolf 8TB NAS hard drive. This should last me a couple of years well. And moving on into the future, should I upgrade? It'll be good to have, you know, just a space to store all my media and all that stuff. So I'm just going to move this over to the side. And I've already unplugged uh, the ProRaid. So this is ready to go. So I'm just going to bring this to the front. And to the back of the unit, you'll see that there are two screw holes. So all I need to do is unscrew these, take the top off, and then we'll be ready to put in our new drive. So I'm just going to get my screwdriver and let's go. So to get the top off, and I'm facing it to you so you can see it. You'll need to hold the top, pull back, and then lift up. Okay, so here's the top. I'm just gonna move that off to the side. And as you can see, the four terabyte drive is already installed and good to go. And I've set it up in hard drive number one, as you can see. And something that I didn't notice when I was unboxing the Pro Raid in my last video because it was stuck in the booklet are these really cool adhesive labels so there's one with hard disk one which i've already installed and there's one with hard disk two so as you can see on the top i've already put on hard disk number one you can see that clearly yeah so what i'm going to do next is move on to getting this label onto the eight terabyte hard drive so let's do that so there you have it. I've stuck on the label onto the drive, so now we can move on to the next step. So I don't know how well you'll be able to see this because it's so dark, but there is a SATA power and data socket at the bottom of the drive bay. So moving forward, all I'll need to do is to line up the drive with that socket and then just take my time, not too hard, not too forcefully, just gently seat it into the socket. So I'm gonna do that now. And there we go. It's locked into place. All I'll need to do from this point is to take uh, a screw at the front and secure it there, and a screw at the back, at the very top here, and that will just hold it into place and just help uh, minimize vibration and rocking around and moving. So here are the screws. So let me just get those out of the bag and I will screw those into place. Here we go. So now that I have that eight terabyte drive locked and secured into place, all I'm gonna do from here is just put the top back on, put back in those screws, and we're gonna move to the desktop and I'll show you the steps from there. Let's go. So here we are at the desktop, guys. So the next step is to plug the power adapter into the ProRaid, make sure that it has power, and plug the USB cable into the ProRaid and also into the computer. We need to power this on 
and make sure that the drives spin up and that they're working. So the first time around that you do this, it might take a while. I've already hit the power button since I've been talking and nothing's happened yet. But eventually what will happen is you're going to get a pop-up message. So once you see that, we'll move on. So here we go. So now you'll see it says the disk you inserted was not readable by this computer. And if you look to the right, you'll notice that my QPR drive has showed up. So that's the drive I already set up. So when you see this message, don't worry about the message. What we'll do from here is ignore that. And then we're going to use disk utility to basically erase and format the drive so that we can use it. So using spotlight, which is command spacebar, you're going to type in disk utility. So now if you look under external, you should see that there are two drives there. There should be my four terabyte, which is that ST4000. And if you look a little bit closer, I'll make this a little bit bigger. You should also see underneath ST4000, you should also see ST8000, which is that eight terabyte hard drive. So. QPR is mounted, but now we need to format and partition the 8 terabyte drive. So let's do that. So you're going to click on it, make sure it's selected. And what we're going to do is hit erase. So we're going to click on erase. And we're just going to give this a name. I'm going to call my drive QPR Media. We're going to leave the format as Mac OS Extended Journal. And for the scheme, we're going to leave that as GUID Partition Map. We're not going to touch security options. All we're going to do is hit Erase. And this should go by fairly quickly. And there you can see drives popped up. And we've also got this pop up message saying, do you want to use QPR Media 8 terabyte as a backup with Time Machine? And we don't want to do that, so I'm just going to click Don't Use. And then it should say that the erase process is complete. Click Done to continue. And that's pretty much it, guys. We have both drives set up. So now if I just hit Command I, you should see that I have a drive called QPR Media with a capacity of eight terabytes and eight terabytes available. So we know everything's working. And there's my QPR drive and my QPR Media drive. So now that I have both drives set up, I'm going to let you in on how I'll be using these two drives. QPR is going to be my final cut scratch drive. So all the main projects, Titles, transitions, effects, all that stuff will live on QPR. And on the QPR media drive, all of my movies, photos, uh, working files for like Photoshop, After Effects, Illustrator, all that stuff is going to live on QPR media. And in my next video, I'll be showing you how to migrate your existing Final Cut Pro library from your Macintosh hard drive over to an external drive. So now you can edit on that external drive because after a while you're going to notice if you've been using Final Cut on your main drive, after a while it's just going to get full like mine did and you're going to need a solution. So look out for that video coming out really, really soon. And then after that, my next video will be on how to use that QPR media drive that I just talked about, how to use it as a Plex media server. So all of your movies, TV shows, audiobooks, all that good stuff, I'll be showing you how to do that as well. So if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Hey, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.